Hey guys, my name is Ajayi Adebayo, and I want to welcome you to the, to 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 this training. Right. So, if you are looking to build a Lotto Lab website, a Lotto Lottery website, where people can actually play and win lotteries, then to this tutorial is for you. Right. So, in this training, I'm going to show you how to design a perfectly looking uh automated little lottery website like this for you right so as you can see it's gonna have uh they also have um, uh, winning numbers and people will be able to buy tickets uh see running lotos and play lotto on your website so without much ado let's go right into the system let me show you how to create lottery automated websites uh for yourself and for your client so as usual you know that if you want to design this kind of website you need to first of all purchase domain name and hosting and I highly recommend Namecheap so why I like Namecheap is that you know they are always have all of the software add-ons that you need to put to uh, run this kind of website perfectly well so I always recommend Namecheap if you have a good platform it's also okay but I always recommend Namecheap so I can say lottery player on. So I'm going to search for my domain name. If the domain name is cool and okay, lottery player, lottery player, lottery play, lotto, lottery play lotto.com. Yes, so my domain name is available. I'm going to add it to cart. So the first thing you want to do is to purchase your domain name and then you go to hosting you purchase your hosting right so this is yearly hosting i can decide to go for monthly hosting whichever the case may be and i'm going to click on uh, get started so you have to add everything to cards so if you do that completely you can go ahead and then make payment for this domain name and hosting and when you make payment for this domain name and hosting you are going to be sent a username, password, and a link to log into your cPanel. cPanel simply means control panel. So when you log into your control panel, you'll be taken to an area like this, right? So you'll be taken to an area like this. So very simple area. So you just have to follow my tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to get it done. So you get to this place, all you need to do is just search for five. Click on file, then you click on file manager. When you click on file manager, it's gonna take you to the file manager area. Just come to your left hand and click on public underscore HTML. Right? So normally you are supposed to upload your website to the public underscore HTML. They already have a lot of websites here, so I'm just gonna create a folder because I want to upload my folder to this so I say lottery. So I'm gonna give my folder a name called uh, lottery, right? So I'm gonna look for that folder. Yeah, this is a lottery so i'm going to open it up then i'm going to click on upload then i'm going to click on select file then i am going to just uh upload that file right so i'm going to upload that file so don't worry i'm going to give you this is the file so this is the particular file i need to upload so don't worry i'm going to give you access to this file i'm going to tell you how you're going to get access to this file at the end of this video make sure you stay to the end of this video so at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how you can easily get access to this file. So you can do exactly the same thing that I am doing without lifting up a finger, without you know, spending all of the whole one year in writing programming code. So you can actually do exactly what I am doing, run on my shoulder and do the same thing that I am doing, right? So make sure you stick to the end of this video and make sure you subscribe to this uh, channel so that anytime I get a drop videos like this you will be first to be notified that I just drop videos like this and you'll be able to watch my videos take action on my videos and make money from my videos so upload the file so when you upload the file and get to 100 the best thing for you to do is just to ensure that you wait for the um, um, you know the upload button to turn to green so as it is now it is still a blue button, right? So you just have to give it some time to turn to green.
So just turn to green and I just click on it and it took me to this file area. So I'm going to right click on this file and um, I'm going to click on um, extract files and I'm going to extract this file right here. So I'm going to close this and uh, reload it. So I don't need this file anymore. I'm going to just delete this file from here, right? So just follow my steps. So I'm going to double click on this and uh, select all. Then I'm going to click on move. Then I'm going to move it to my lottery folder, right? Awesome. So I've moved that to my lottery folder. So let me just go back one more step. So I'm going to just uh, reload this. So I will try to access my website right away. So I'm going to copy this. This is the link to my website. And then I'm going to say lottery, which is a folder name to access my website, right? So when I do that, I'm going to see this error. So just come here again and do slash install. Right? So you do slash install. So you you do slash install, it's going to bring this right for you, right? So the next thing you're going to do is to click on uh, I agree, right? So when you click on I agree, then you scroll down. So if everything is cool on your server, it's going to check them and tell you it's cool. If it's not cool, if your PHP is not up to version 7 or higher, uh, it's going to tell you to upgrade your PHP. So you just have to upgrade your PHP. So I'm going to click on next step. When I click on next step, so you're going to see that it's giving me some permission to run. So uh, call bootstrap cache. I'm going to uh, run that. So I'm going to click on call uh, bootstrap cache. So I'll right click on this and I'll click on change permission and I want it to be 775 so I'll change permission so the next one is the call and storage so I'll just go back one more step I'll see call and storage this is storage so all right click on this change permission and 775 so I'm gonna write with that so the next one is call storage and app so I'm, I need to go into the app so call storage and apps on the right click change permission 777 so the next one is a core storage framework core storage logs so all of them are here core storage framework change permission and core storage log i will also change permission right so just follow me and do exactly the same thing that i do everything is so simple so i'm just going to come here and click on recheck so you see that all of these have been done and it's we are not cool so i'm going to click on next step awesome guys so then i'm going to scroll down so when i scroll down you see uh it's telling me uh, this is the link to my url and uh, it asks me for my purchase code my username uh uh my password and all that so for the username just put any name here so i'm just going to put something like uh, So here you can put any 32, any um, 32 code, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So you just put any 32, then your database name, let's go right here and create our database. So let's come here, go to our cPanel area. Then you type that to be so I'll click on database MySQL wizard. Yeah, I would say law tree db. So I'm gonna say next. I'll say law tree user. So then I'm gonna generate my password, copy that. I have copied password and use password. So I'm going to put a password somewhere that I know I'm going to see it again. So I'm going to put a password here. So quick create user. And I'm going to copy this information. It's very important. We will need this for our database configuration. All right, guys. So just follow up um, all privileges. Then I'm going to click on next step. Awesome, guys. So I need those details right here. So I'm just going to come here and uh, copy those details. 
is a database password that I was asked. It will be his password. Look at it here. Host is localhost. So we just type localhost here. So let's put our database name and username. Our database name is this. And no, this is our database name. This is going to be. Okay, this is our database username. Database username, and this is going to be our database name. So, know your database username and your database name. So, I'm going to put that here. So, the username will be admin, the password will be admin, and uh, I'm just going to put an admin email. So, I'm going to just put. Uh, info at right my domain name so i'm going to click on install so if everything goes well this is going to install can you see that install complete so this uh, install email address of me has been set successfully please change the admin password as soon as possible and um, please delete the install folder from the server all right guys so uh let's go to the server Maybe if you are in that, so let's go to the server and uh, click on back. Back, right? So let's go back one more step. So, said we should just delete the install, so just trash the install folder. Awesome, guys. I'm going to reload this, then I can come here and say go to website and go to admin. So, let's see if that's going to load up for us. Wow, awesome, awesome. Can you see that? Can you, can, can you see that? Awesome, awesome. Website loaded successfully. Can you see that? Awesome. And this is the admin, right? So, this is the admin username and the admin password. Did you give us admin username and password? So, please change the admin password as. as Soon as possible. So the admin name was admin, it told us, and the admin password was also what admin. So let's log in. Awesome, we log in to the admin. Don't forget. Awesome, awesome. So this is really, really, really cool. So I'm gonna walk you through how to configure this site. So easy. So the first thing is said is uh, we need to set coin jobs, right? So you just copy this and then uh, you go back to your C panel. So let's go back to our C panel and then um, let's go to a search for Chrome. So you click on Chrome Jobs, then you come here and you select five minutes, then you come here and select at the beginning, then put the Chrome Jobs code here, and then you click on Add new. So it's going to add a coin job for you, right? So when you have done that, you just remove this and you reload the game, right? Awesome. So we are going to start setting up a website, right? So the first thing we want to do is that um, we want to go to uh, this setting area, right? So let's look for the general settings. On the general setting, all you have to do is give your website a name. So I'm just going to say lottery layer, right? So you want to accept USD. So any currency you want to accept, you want to accept Naira, you want to accept Ghana CDs, you want to accept Cameroon currencies. You can invariably accept any kind of currency that you want to accept. So I'm just going to leave that for now at this. Then you can enable or disable um, agree policy. You can force secure password. So uh, this one means enable user registration. Force SSL. You can also do email verification. Right. So you want people to be able to verify their emails. So when I want to disable that, the email notification people should be notified. The SMS, you can also configure SMS. The system allows you to do that. But I'm not going to configure all of this. I'm just going to click on update. 
awesome so that has been updated right so let's go back and so let's see um logo and favicon so you be able to you can change your logo and your favicon from here so i can click on here to select my logo So you can get your logo done by graphic designer or you can do your logo yourself. So you can go ahead and just use this uh, particular logo, right? So I can use this particular logo, right? I can also change all of this. So and I'm going to update that. So when you update that, you might not see your changes immediately. So you have to do Ctrl F5. Ctrl F5 means hard refresh. Right, so when you do your hard refresh, you're going to see uh, your changes. And when you do that changes, you come to your front end, you're also going to see that um, your logo from your front end will also uh, be changed. So you have to do hard refresh, it's very, very important. Awesome, can you see that? So you have to do your hard refresh, but just make sure you have like something like a logo here, your own logo, right. So I just want to leave that. I don't want to go into um, logo design, right? So now let's go back to the admin again. So the first thing we look at here is we want to look at referral commission. Do you want people to refer people and get commission? Yes. If you want that, so how many levels? I say two. Um, maybe deposit commission or buy lottery commission or win lottery commission. So anybody who deposits. I wanted to have going So level one, I can say three percent. Level two, I can say two percent. Now I'm going to submit that, and that's just cool for me. So the next thing I'm going to do is to what manage lottery. So I click on lotteries. So I have to create a lottery, right? So I have to create a lottery, and then I have to bring up uh, that lottery image, right? So then also I have phase. So I have to create a lottery phase right i'm going to show you how to do that there right now and we also have what we call manual draw right so but let's go back to lotteries so let's create a lottery phase so let me just take uh information from here so so this let's um save this image so let me just create something on my desktop So I'm going to call it lottery because I want to use this image on the site. So this is called Mega Millions. So I'm just going to copy this as a Mega Millions. So I'm going to go to my design and I'll call this Mega Millions. So I want to see the price that I put there. Um, okay, Mega Million, I can see $200. Right, so let me just see something here. Uh, let's see, make a million. Yes, so you see, your is of $50, and it's an instruction, right? So I'm just going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to copy all of this information right here. So you can be armed with your information and just be ready to change the information. So, you know. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to bring it to Notepad. So I'm going to select this image. Um, I'll bring up this image right here, right? So I'm going to scroll down right here, and I'm going to do post. right so how many wind do i want right i can generate the wind i can say i want um, five wins right so i'm going to click on generate so win one i can say hundred dollars win two two hundred dollars win three three hundred dollars win four 
400 dollars and we find 500 dollars so i'm going to click that awesome so let's go back to lotteries and i'm going to see the lottery that i created right and you see that this is the lottery that i actually created let me remove all of this and take post I want to see you that red we actually clear out that color. I don't like this color. So I'm supposed to just copy from the MP. So okay, let's see. I just will it's cool on my website. Awesome. So I'm gonna go back one more step. Then I'm going to create another lottery. So let's go back to the site. So this time around, I'm going to also save this. I'm going to create it with the created a lottery here. Save image. Right, so I want to see what it did here. Okay, let me just use more information for all of that. So I'm gonna put this right here. And I'm gonna call it Powerball. So I wanna see the prices that these guys put. Available ticket, $100, so I'm gonna put Let's say one thousand dollars. So I'm gonna put my lottery image. I'm gonna post to how many win? Let me just put one win. I'm gonna generate that and I'm gonna say one thousand dollars. I'm gonna submit that. All right. I go back to lottery again. Let me just create one more lottery. Click on this uh, and see what it did here. Okay. So I'm going to click on this jackpot. See the image. That does it. So I'm going to pause that. So let me just do two winning and seven hundred dollars and six hundred dollars. So now let's go to fees. Right, go to fees and create a lottery fees. So let's select. So all of by the time you create your lottery, you're going to see the fees. So create mega million fees. Start it. So um, let's say the start date was um, um, today date is um, three four because it start date and you can say draw date is on the fifth and quantity let's say you can put three so you can say auto draw or manual draw so let's do auto draw it means that the draw we don't automatically right. So let's just view the front page of our site because as you are creating that, um, they will be um, you know, showing up on your website. So let's just um, okay. So let's see. Um, let's go back to this. Let us edit this. Let's see. So um, let's put that target. Then let's see that's going to show up here. So you see that so the start date was um, backdated and we draw it. So I'm going to create another one. 
width so I'm going to select this power ball. I'm also going to put that uh, the star date was this and the draw date let's say two date quantity let's say two this one let's say manual so created one manual we created one automated so let's see if that shows up from here can you see that show up so you see that all right so let's go ahead let's add one more so you just be patient and get your work done let's see jackpot the same I right, would we'll start it and draw it at the same day. So let's see how long we have. Let's put quantity. Let's say four. And let's say all to draw. So end it must be future date. Can you see that? So let's create that again. End it must be future date. Let's see jackpot. So the start it. We end it default. Also, so you see the way I'm creating the um, draw, right? So this is how you you are going to create all of these, right? You go ahead and you create all of these. So the more you create these, the more you get them to see. So at the start date. As the end date, it adds the price, it's hundred dollar, one thousand dollars. And if you click on buy ticket, it's also going to bring you here and show you how many days remaining. It's going to show you the price, and it's going to show you a uh, ticket number, and it's going to show you the instruction, right? So it's going to show you the ticket number, and you can generate your ticket number from here. You can even click here to add, generate ticket number as you want to generate, but let's leave those ticket number first let's configure the admin fully so uh, we can go to manual draw so select the lottery for manual for our waiting draw so there is no manual draw right now so let's go to manage users um, so from here we can manage all our users so but let's go to payment gateway and we have automatic payment gateway so you see that this has a lot of gateway. Can you see that a lot of gateways for you to configure? Right? A lot of gateways. So first of all, let me configure this paper gateway. And this is paper gateway. So let me put my paper email here. I'm gonna select currency. Make sure my currency is in USD. Add, add currency. Put my currency here and then uh, I can go here and just select paper so I can download the paper so this paper logo Can upload that. Awesome. So, um, paper name for the gateway, and um, I'm going to call it for paper. So, minimum I can deposit with this is 100 USD, and maximum is 10,000 USD. Fixed charge, no percentage charge, I can still say none. So, zero year, zero year. USD currency, I will say USD. 1 USD is equal to 1 USD, right? So I'm going to just do that. 
going to image file is not supported, right? Image file is not supported and we save it. So let me see my regular side if I'm going to see maybe the payment details. So I can just copy that and use. All right, so I'm going to copy that and just use. So I'm going to use. Awesome, so that works for me, right? So um, let's go to automatic payment gateway again. So you can actually configure your blockchain, you can enter the blockchain information here. So any of the payment gateway you want to use, yeah, or right here, you can go ahead and configure them right so let me configure uh, one manual payment so I'm going to configure one manual payment so I'm going to click on add so here is one manual payment that I want to like to configure so um, let me call this so Bitcoin Let me see if I'm going to take that thing. I think it's going outside JPEG. So let me just turn that image to JPEG. All right, so call that BTC. Uh, let me just upload that and um, to BTC. Awesome. So gateway name of the BTC manual. Currency, I will say USD, and the one USD is a copy cost of one USD. So minimum deposit, I will say 100, and maximum deposit, I will say. 10,000 fees, I can say zero percentage charge, I can say one. Let me just add one there. So now I cannot say, please make payment to the wallet address below. Right? So I think I have. One wallet address somewhere here. Now with my wallet address. You see that? So uh, we should be able to let me add one more. 
it should be okay input tag should be five this should be like upload proof so when i deposit with that we'll be able to upload proof and i'm going to save this method awesome so when i go to uh, automatic payment gateway i've configured one and i go to manual i have also configured one so i'm just cool you can add as many as you want uh, ethereum usdt uh, bnb just name them you can add as many as you want so when i go to deposit this is where you manage deposits right then you also money with drugs so this is support ticket you can send admin support ticket and admin you want to see that right so um what else do we need to do so if i go to sms manager so you can configure your sms so that people can um you can your, your clients can receive sms right I think very really that is how to uh, set this up. So let's go create an account and see how this works. So let me just put it in another browser. Awesome. So awesome. So you can see go ahead. So you see the lottery. You can see go ahead to um, edit all of these details that you see on the side about all these details you can see edit them i just quickly show you them how you can edit all of that awesome so you go to uh, manage pages sorry you go to manage pages you see the manage pages so you can see the information on the home page. Edit them. So you can see it on the about us page. So you can see them. You can actually edit them all from there, right? And you can see that. So when you're done, you can remove that. You can see block session. You can so you can very quickly just edit everything. So let's go back here and then um, let's just sign up, right? So you see the one I did edited right here. So let's go back to the home page and let's say we want to buy a ticket for Powerball. Can you see that? So I don't want to buy a ticket, so let's say buy now. So let's click on register. Go back to the home page. So let's just sign up on the side. Let's click on register. Awesome. So I'm going to enter my first name. So which country, whichever country you are, you're going to just, you just select your country, if you like, select any country, and you're going to put your phone number right there. So you're going to put your email. and your username and your password they enter this code six four five two three nine okay click on register awesome so you see that i just registered and immediately it took me right inside the uh my dashboard right so on my dashboard area you can see that um i see uh play now play now can you see that play now and 
there's no way I can play if I do not deposit, right? So if I click on play now here, let's see. So uh, click on play now. Uh, since I'm okay, let me go my, back to my dashboard. Okay, if I click on okay, let's buy ticket. Okay, I think this game that I you know actually put right here they have expired. So what I'm gonna do is that okay, okay, this game is still very active, right? So let me go back to the admin and then um, let me set up some. I'm gonna set up some new games. Let me set up some new games. So I'm going to set up some new games. So let me go back to um, I'll go back to manage lottery. Then I'm going to click on lotteries. Then I'll set up a new lottery. So I'll create a new lottery right here. So let me just upload the lottery image. Right, so uh, let me go back to my desktop. So, uh, lottery. So I'll set up a new lottery. Let me just set this one up. Then I am going to take this information from here and put it here. So this lottery title is, let's say, let me go back by Jeb. The price to play this lottery is $2,000, right? $2,000. So I'm going to click on the post. So I'm going to click on post. So I just want to click to how many winnings I want and nine winnings. So I'm going to generate nine winnings and um, uh, winner and winner bonus. So winning one, I can say 500. This one, 400. 300, uh, the 200, then this one is 100. So I've set up that up like that. So let me remove the others. I'm cool with that. So I'm going to click on submit. All right, the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to create the lottery phase. So I'm going to come to the lottery phase. I'll click create phase. I've showed you this before. Let me just, um, so the one I created is Baba Jebu. So the start date is, um, Today is 4, so I'm going to put the start date as today. And I'm going to put the draw date, let me say 4, I think. Well, let me see if that will work. Quantity, I'm going to put 9. And uh, draw, I can say auto draw. So let me create now. So there must be a start and end date, right? So let's go back. I buy check Start date can be 4. So if the start date is 4, the end date must be in future date. So let me put a future date of five for my quantity and it can be auto draw and it can be manual draw. So I'm gonna create my uh, draw right now. So um, let me go back to my user dashboard again. Uh, let me click on dashboard. So, uh, so when I come here, I see Baba Ijebu. Can you see that? I'm gonna click on play now. So when I click on play now, you see that it's remaining 22 hours for this to expire. Right, right. So I can click on add new. Uh, number so I can this yeah I generate my ticket number so I can click on generate so it has given me my ticket number to play but first I need to buy it right so it opts you have the sufficient balance so before you can play this game right uh to play this game is two thousand dollars can you see that and I have zero balance right here so now let me show you how to not deposit right so let's go back to our dashboard so this is our dashboard right and uh, we need to now So we need to not deposit. So I'll go to my finance. Then I'll click on deposit, right? So see the deposit method that we set, right? We set up this deposit method before now. So I can also click on deposit history, right? Then I can say deposit now. So the only deposit method we have here is uh, is PayPal. So I can click deposit. How many dollars I want to deposit? Two thousand dollars. And I'll click on confirm. So you see that with a conversion rate of one to one dollar, then I'll click on pay now. So when I click on pay now, it's redirecting me to PayPal, right? But I don't have a PayPal account for this, right? So let me just set up 
I'm going to set up um, some manual payment from the admin. So let's go to payment gateways. So let's go to uh, payment gateways, payment gateways. Let's do um, uh, manual payment gateways. So I, was, I actually set up one before, right? But it's like uh, it's um, not enabled, right? So let me save that and then uh, go back to manual gateway again. So I'm going to click this I button to enable it, right? So I'm going to click on that I button so I've activated it. So you can go ahead and add uh, different gateway. I've explained that before. So let me go back to finance again and click on deposits. And so this time around, I'm going to see because I've enabled that. So I'll click on Bitcoin deposits and I'll say I want to deposit $2,000. Okay, let me deposit three thousand dollars so that I can have some balance. All right, you see that it's going to come here and say how much are you paying? Three thousand dollars. Then click on pay now. So you see that so it's going to ask you to deposit into this Bitcoin wallet. Can you see that the Bitcoin wallet for the admin that we set up the other time? So, uh, so I'm going to pay into this account right now. So let's say I pay into that account. The next thing I'm going to do is what well, I'm going to um, um, upload uh, proof of payment, right? So just upload anything there for you to just see what I'm saying. So then I'll click on pay now. So just watch what's going to happen right now. So when I click on pay now, it's going to load up. So upload files, file, file type not supported. So uh, let's choose another file type. Let's go for something that is um, JPEG. This JPEG, okay. Let's see JPEG. Let's upload that and see. Yes, you have successfully deposited. Can you see that? So it's going to show pending right here. It's going to show pending right here. Look at the information and you know the proof of uh, deposit. So once admin can verify that that deposit was made, let's go back to the admin end. So, uh, so if you go back to dashboard and you go to deposits, you're going to see uh, this mark here. It means that somebody has deposited. I'm going to show impending deposits. So when you come here, just click on this I button and you can approve or reject deposit. The deposit was not found on your wallet. If the deposit was not found on your wallet, you can reject it. If it's found on your wallet, you can approve this. So I'll just go ahead and approve this and I'll click on approve. Awesome. See that deposit has been approved. So let's go back to the user account and um, let's just uh, refresh this. Uh, click on dashboard again and then uh, let's scroll down. You can see total of $3,000 deposit has been approved for us. So if I go back to transactions, I'm going to see it in history. So any transaction you do is going to appear right here in history. Right? So let's go back here and you see a commission. So I've not earned any referral commission. If I earn any referral commission, I'm going to find them there. Uh, and also if I refer any users, level one to level two users, I'm also going to find all of that there. So, and here, if I come to total wins, I'm going to see my wins, and I'm going to also see my lose. So, now let's go to lotteries. So, these are the available lotteries to play right now. This is $1,000, $2,000, and $200. So, let me buy a ticket for this. Bye -bye, Jebu. So, you see that? Okay. And I have balance of $3,000, and I can buy for uh, $2,000. So, I'm going to click on generate ticket. So, my ticket is already generated. It's auto-generated. It can continue to generate, and it's going to change the uh, ticket number for you so whichever ticket number you go with will be your ticket number so that's my ticket number and uh, i'll just click on what buy now you have tickets you have you have successfully purchased your ticket can you see that so i purchased uh that uh, ticket right so this is an auto um auto draw i'm going to wait for the date of the draw to be um release so automatically the system will determine if my draw was successful or or not right so it's going to determine if my draw was successful or not and as and you can see here yeah it's showing that somebody has already purchased this particular draw so i can also come here um you see this one is waiting for draw right so this is what i want to do now i want to go back to the admin and then let me just create one manual i want to create one manual, manual draw right So I'm going to go to manage lotteries. I'm going to go to lotteries again. Okay, let me just change one of the lotteries to manual. So let's change this one to manual. The jackpot, I want to change it to manual. So okay, I'll go to face. I'll go to face. I want to change jackpot to manual. 
So let me change that portal manual. Okay, I already have one manual which is waiting for draw here. So let me just change. Okay, this one is completed already. So this one is manual draw. So okay, did this. So draw this. So quantity to manual draw. Right? So this one is manual draw. End it must be in future, right? So manual draw start it is okay. Start it will now be four and end it will now be five. And I'm gonna update that, right? I'm gonna update that right away. So let's come back here and let me just refresh this. Awesome. So uh, jackpot, you see that jackpot is a manual draw, but the start date is a four and the end date is what fifth. So the draw has not actually what um, started, right? So let's go back to um, yeah. So I can decide to buy another ticket. Um, let's see this Powerball. This ticket is one thousand, and I can generate, generate. Right, and I can click on buy now. So my purchase is what successful, right? Mm -hmm. So now, if I go back to my dashboard, I'm going to see that I have purchased. I have purchased uh, that ticket. So let's go to account. No, let's go to. Um, Let's go to, to account to go to total wins. So we have not actually had any win because uh, this is automated. So ticket list. So you see that this is the um, ticket number I purchased. You can see that will be published. So um, so automatically on the day, automatically on the day for the uh, draw, you're going to see uh, I will receive an email to know if that uh, purchase, uh, if that ticket was won or not, right? You're going to see. So you see that we be published. All right. So can you see that? So the ticket that are sold out, you see that 50% sold out is running. And this one is also sold out and is running. So that's how you're going to see uh, people who want to also purchase ticket, they'll see that this ticket has already been sold, 50% of it. So people are going to buy into uh, this ticket. So the same thing right here, if I want to buy more, uh, you see my account balance is zero and then um, like i said before if i go to um my dashboard and i come to um i come to to ticket list i'm going to see my ticket list that i have purchased so the way this works is that at the end of the day if this ticket since it's an uh, automated draw this is automated draw if this ticket was uh, one the system we check the system for all, all of the tickets and if this ticket that is automated is the one this ticket that is automated is the one that wins the draw the system will reflect it and an email will automatically be sent to the recipient that he has won and when it comes to his account balance his account balance will be updated with how much he has won now if it is a manual um, ticket so at the end of the day because today is fourth now and the end of the day of this ticket is fifth right so on the fifth the admin can actually go there and determine which of the tickets wins and which of the tickets did not win so admin can decide to pick any of those tickets and say okay this is the ticket that actually won you know and this is this so these other tickets they didn't win so at the end of the day these users are going to see that on their front end and they are going to when they, when they come back to their transaction or their finance they are going to they are going to see that their account would have been credited right the account would have been credited with the amount of money that um let's go to dashboard the account would have been credited right the account would have been credited with the amount of money they'll be able to see total win and total withdraw right they will be able to see total wins and they will be able to see a uh, total withdrawal right so the way some people also do this is that they can um put the ticket to be very high and then um, they can influence it that you actually win and they can put a big winning account for you and say okay you're winning you won hundred thousand dollars and they will ask you to come and withdraw and when you want to try to withdraw they will now set the percentage that you have to pay so, so, so percentage before you uh, withdraw 
So just the normal way that the normal lottery, the normal Baba Ijebu lottery works that you see everywhere. But this is the computerized version of how to create a lottery and lotto uh, website with uh, winning numbers, right? So guys, this is where I'm going to draw the curtain of this shot today. And I'm going to give you access to this software. Like I said, I'm going to give you access to this software. So if you're in Nigeria and you want to design something like this and you need this software, you're going to pay the sum of 60,000 naira. So with the sum of 60,000 naira, I can give you access to this file. And you just need to follow my videos and do exactly the same thing that I have done. If you have any problem, you can come back to me and then I will help you uh, sort it out. So if you are not in Nigeria and you are in any part of this world, you're going to get access to this software for just $95. Right? So with $95, I will give you access to this particular software. I'm going to drop the payment link of this software on the description box. So all you have to do is just, uh, you can pay online and when you make payment and your payment is successful, you'll be redirected to download the software with immediate effect, right? You can also chat me on WhatsApp and to purchase this software. And if you have any problem or you need any other softwares, right, you can chat me on WhatsApp. We design and develop any kind of software for everybody, for anybody. And we have um, uh, clients all over the world, from United States, Canada, South Africa, just name them and we uh, deliver. When it comes to software, uh, scripts like this, we are the best in the world, the entire world, not just Nigeria. So once again, I want to thank you guys. Thank you so much for listening to this uh, video. Uh, my name is Ajayi Adebayo. Uh, I'll see you on the inside.